In the last video, I talked about getting one of these Artist Graphics 2000i cards in the mail. If you missed the history on that, check it out. It explains the whole story in just four minutes. Most pro tech tubers would probably jump in at some pro level how to mix with some killer 3D acting like nothing ever goes wrong. And we'll get to the killer 3D, I promise. But the truth is, three motherboards got hurt in the making of this video. I posted some high res shots of the card on Vogons, and someone was kind enough to point out. Uh, when they zoomed in on my card that one of the pins was touching the other. Lesson learned that you should always check out old stuff before uh, using it. That's why this video is a mix of my CRT monitor and an LCD monitor, a Compact Desk Pro 2000 and a Dell Dimension XPS 200M. After loading Windows 95 and accidentally installing the Windows 3.1 driver because it's not labeled as such when I downloaded it and getting a beautiful blue screen, I managed to get a driver loaded from the VGA Museum. There are other drivers you can get for this card on Vogons and archive.org uh, on a backup of artgraphics.com if you're curious or if you find this card. Windows 95 is very picky about the drivers and what, the one from the VGA Museum is the only one that I managed to find uh, the ability to get the Visa 2.0 extensions. Uh, they only seem to work in DOS when you load the correct driver in Windows. I thought I'd take a minute to show off the Windows 3.1 drivers because you're never going to see them unless you manage to get one of these vintage pieces of rare hardware in your hands. Now I'll show you the Windows 95 control panel for a second and you'll notice that there's a lot of really neat things here. It's kind of personalized. Uh, you'll notice there's an advanced area where you can even see the VRAM installed and perform a mild overclock of the card if you wanted to. There's even settings for the position of your monitor. Once the Visa driver was loaded correctly, I also tried a number of DOS games. I tried a number of games to sort of demonstrate the card's abilities and they didn't disappoint when they worked. I spent a few minutes playing Quake, early OpenGL example. Um, also tried out Doom 95 and played around a little bit with that. I played Scorched Planet because it uses the Renderware API. I played a little bit of Duke Nukem 3D uh, because it uses the uh, the Visa driver and also because Duke Nukem, you gotta try that on everything. And the Windows 95 screensaver because that's also based on OpenGL. Now, I realized that it's possible uh, with software rendering, but the driver uh, loaded version was considerably faster than with the driver not loaded. Early DirectX even appeared to offer hardware acceleration um, both in uh, two different settings uh, when I checked it out. Uh, Unreal Gold uh, actually did uh, have the option to use hardware acceleration and while it wasn't fast Given it was actually playable with a card that was developed between 1994 and 1995, I was still impressed. VJ Museum claims that this thing only offers true OpenGL support via Windows NT. So I spent a few hours loading that up and giving it a shot. Uh, Windows NT drivers were challenging to work with, and the DOS Visa driver never worked. But I did manage to play with some software within it. However, the OpenGL tool that I used didn't appear to show any difference between Windows 95 supported features. And the Windows NT supported features beyond what would have been available for OpenGL version 1.1 anyway. I would have loved to have tested a B render game but I snagged a copy of Carmageddon for that purpose and it never worked in Windows NT or 95 in my testing. But as far as 3D tests go, I did manage to test some uh, available tests on the S3 driver CD and ironically it made the S3 Trio V64 Plus accelerator I used look slow in comparison even though they supplied the 3D tools. The 3G rendered them with incredible speed and beauty for 1995 standards. So this has just been a quick look at some of the things that the uh, card was capable of in Windows 95. But you have to remember that the Artist Graphics 2000i did come out at a time when Windows 3.1 was available and Windows 95 was still uh, not even released yet when it first came out. 
I thought it'd be cool to bring a spotlight to this unique and little known card. Drop me a comment if you have any feedback. Hopefully this has kind of been interesting to sort of have a look at something that uh, you wouldn't see anywhere else.